Good morning, this is Ben from CyclingTipsHQ.com. Got a short video for you today showing you how to combine FIT files, which are the files your Garmin device will produce when you're out cycling. Now I've had that horrible situation yesterday. I'm here in Barcelona, you can probably hear from the noise around me. And I've accidentally paused and saved my Garmin halfway through a ride. Disaster. I'm going to get home, I'm not going to be able to show off my rides. And I'm going to end up having to have two rides when it should have been one. And my distance just won't have been good enough. Well, turns out there's a solution to that problem. So I found a fantastic website here, gotos.org, run by a guy called Brian Lacido. Um, he's created some fantastic tools to help you with FIT, GPX, and TCX files. If you're going to use Brian's site, he gives you everything for free, but there's a great bit down the bottom here to leave him a tip. He's doing some great stuff for the cycling community, so you know, leave him a bit of money to say thank you. So what you're going to do is flick over here um, and upload your TCX or GPX files. Now I've got them on the desktop waiting. You can see one started at 10.52, one started at 1.45. I want to make those files into one. So all we're going to do here is choose the files. should be ready to go. Highlight them both and choose them as simple as that. It's then going to quickly upload them um, and make them ready to go. I'm going to hit upload here and then we're going to click over onto a download page. From this point it gets really simple. You can see the two files at the top here. All I would suggest doing, now when I did this originally it had it defaulted to running. Make sure you switch it over to biking. If you use Strava it's going to get a bit confused if you don't and think you're trying to upload you running at 25, 28 kilometers an hour, which as much as we all like to think we're quick, we're just not that quick. Hit this big blue button down the bottom here. It's going to combine the GPS files and it's then going to drop it down into your downloads file. Um, and it really is as simple as that. You've now got a TCX file ready to go. Um, and you can put that up on Strava or any of the other sites you choose to use. And just to prove this works, this is the ride. 10.52, you can see two rides combined, no problems at all. Um, and it just solves a problem that I didn't realise there was a solution to until yesterday. I hope you found this video useful. I'm over on Twitter, at CyclingTipsHQ. I've got a, uh, a Facebook page, please head over and like it. And if you found this video useful, please feel free to share it and give some money to Brian Lacido. Great guy, really helping the community. Have a good day. See you soon.